Hey, it's Ben from Acre, you guys. We've got another knot for you. Um, I was looking at some stuff on Bloody Decks, and one of my buddies, Eric Landisfeen, had a really cool article on rockfish, like ganyans and stuff. And I wanted to pass along one of the things I saw that was pretty cool on his deal. So, um, appreciate Eric. Thanks for letting me do this one. So, <clears throat> regular ganyans, when you tie him and you tie your dropper loop, you've got a double. It's basically a double line that you're dealing with. So, what these guys figured out, what I thought was pretty cool, is if you start with your ganyan, you've got a swivel that goes to the top, and this is 60 pound that's running on the main line through these swivels, okay? And it comes down here to where the sinker is, and it's 12 pound, okay? So let me go real slow and show this to you. So this ties to your main line, or your braid, whatever you're using. Here's your first dropper loop, okay? It's single line, this is 40 pound. So what they do is they tie the dropper loop knot right to the swivel, which I think is pretty cool. So what ends up happening is you can lose the 40 pound or you can lose the hook in this little leader, but the 60 is pretty much always there, which I think is really cool because that means you're not always tying that dropper loop, which sometimes can be a, take a while on a boat. So you've got your one swivel, because you need four swivels on this thing. Then you come back over here, you've got your second swivel set up that's tied with that dropper loop knot, okay? And you do have a few more knots involved in this thing, but the thing that I look at is with these swivels involved, it's gonna get rid of a lot of that twisting that you have with your baits and stuff when you're dropping down. The last swivel, is a piece of 12 pound that goes down to your lead. And depending on how big your lead is, if you get your lead stuck in the rocks, all you're doing is losing the lead, winding back up. All you gotta do is tie another leader, put it on here, and you're fine. 12 pound on the, on the one that goes to the lead, they're using 40, the ones that go to the hooks, okay? And what I wanna show you real quick is the question I'm seeing right now is people are going, well, how do you tie that knot that goes to the, to the swivels? Here's how you tie the knot that goes to the swivels. Regular dropper loop knot. You're going to go through here. All right. You're going to pull this together. See it? Then you make your, you make your hook or your, your loop a little bit smaller than normal. And then what you're going to end up doing is like you do any dropper loop, you get them together and you're going to go one, see what I'm doing? Two, three. Okay, so I've got three. There's my loop. I'm going to take the swivel and go back through that loop. And I'm going to hold the line right where the swivel is. You see it, everybody? And all I'm going to do now is start tightening my dropper loop knot. As I tighten it, I'm going to pull up on the swivel a little bit, tighten the dropper loop knot, pull up on the swivel, boom. There's your dropper loop knot with the swivel on the line. And then all you have to do is attach your leaders to the hooks. 60 pound to 40. Pretty cool thing. Hey, everybody has their own way of doing any, everything. All we're looking at is cool things. I think Eric's way was pretty cool here. I, uh, cool enough, so I thought I'd show it to the rest of you guys. So, <clears throat> for any dropper loops, there's the dropper loop swivel, the way you attach the barrel swivel to it. Check it out. You can check it out here, accuratefishing.com. You can see everything else about Accurate on our um, YouTube site, Accurate Fishing. Or you can go to Bloody Decks and look under Eric Landisfeen, and he has a great article on this stuff. So all we're trying to do is hand off a little bit of information. We hope that helps. Thanks.